key I want you to see there is that's why we're basing your ball position off your lead foot because that creates a constant variable of where you're moving into into your swing. They do it wonderfully well. Never miss the latest videos from the people who help you play better golf. Hit subscribe here. All right, so today we're gonna to talk about ball position basics. And what I see a lot of my students do and amateur golfers in general is they start by putting the ball in the middle of their stance and they start moving it around, they start moving their stance around. You know, for instance, I'll see a, an amateur come in for the first time and they have the driver up in their stance and then they move to like their wedge and they move it in the middle of their stance but they're not sure how wide their stance needs to be. Then they think they need to move the ball up in their stance when they move up to a, a mid iron. And this creates such poor contact because you're changing a variable over and over. And our goal today is to simplify this and make it very easy for you to start hitting solid shots and just be more confident when you're out on the golf course. So we're gonna keep it very simple for you by basing it all off of your lead foot. And to better explain this, let's take a look at what the tour players do. All right, so we got Rory McIlroy and DJ pulled up here. Now what I want you to really take away from here is how both of them post up and extend into their lead leg here. Notice how DJ really snaps that left leg straight, extending that leg. And same with Rory over here with the driver. And the key I want you to see there is that's why we're basing your ball position off your lead foot because that creates a constant variable of where you're moving into into your swing. They do it wonderfully well and you can see, you know, Rory ball position right up off his instep. DJ has it a club head width off his trail foot. It might look a little bit further back because of the camera angle. But the main takeaway here is how they post up and drive into their left side. So let's walk through this with the clubs you typically play with. We'll start with the driver. So the driver, we want to base it right off your lead instep. So you'll see I have this stick right off my lead foot, ball positions up in the stance. The reason for this is so we can hit actually up at the driver, the low points just before the ball, and we'll catch it on the upswing. You know, from there we move into maybe your fairway wood. Here we have a five wood. Let's move this back down onto the ground. But now we move into basing it off a club head width off our instep. And we get a little bit wider in the stance. Feet are a little bit wider than our hips. So now it is up in my stance. But the goal here is to hit the ball and brush the ground in front. So we're moving that low point just slightly in front. Now let's move into a mid iron. Ball position, same thing. Club head width off my, my instep. But now I'm gonna bring my trail foot in a little bit more so it's more right with my hip. So this moves the ball technically a little bit more back in the stance for those of you, you know, who are used to starting with the ball position in the middle of the stance. And I get a little bit closer to it. And then last would be your wedge. So same thing, club head width off the instep, narrow my stance a little bit more, and that moves the ball a little bit towards the middle of my stance, but it's still based off my lead leg, which I'm driving into, trying to create that low point in front of the ball. So to recap, we want to base everything off our lead foot, and then from there we just get wider with the stance. So if I'm here with the sand wedge, it's pretty much in the middle, but it's based a club head width off my lead foot. Then we just get a little bit wider for our mid irons, a little bit wider for our long irons, fairy woods. And then we move it right up off our instep when we hit driver so we can hit up at it. So if you're struggling with your ball striking, try this. But if you're still struggling with low point issues, check out this playlist over here.